Well, I'm here with the monkeys today, and we are going to talk about this particular knife right here. It's the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, and this is in the CPN S30V blade steel. This is a knife that I have carried for nearly 10 years now as my everyday carry. Uh, I used to carry it in a tip down position. As you can see, I had some problems with the original pocket clip. And I don't know if you can see that, but that is red Loctite that built up over there over the years where I repaired it multiple times. I've since carried, switched to a tip up and have the original pocket clip on this one. But I have carried it with the Lynch clip, which I ended up putting on this pair of two, uh, just to dress it up. I wanted a nicer clip on this knife. Uh, this is the knife that I carry to work with me every day almost for 10 years. I've stuck it in the dirt, I've cut who knows what with it, got it packed with grease, dirt, mud, all that. And surprisingly, a testament to this knife, it's still centered perfectly. Um, still in great shape. Still has tight as hell lock up. So no issues. Um, I do have, as you can see here, a little bit of patina on the blade. Pretty sure you can see it right there. It almost looks like a little spider right there on the tip. And just very slightly on this side. But today, what we are going to do is we're going to dress this knife up. Let's show this, show this thing a little bit of uh, TLC. Let's, let's dress this thing up a little bit. So the first thing, of course, I did was I ordered a Lynch Northwest deep carry pocket clip just like the one I have on the other PM2 so that's going to be going on there and uh, let me tell you shout out to these people they include the screws you know they even include a little note in here look at that hand side note thank you you know that's customer service right there the other thing I did was I went on Amazon and I bought these. I think they're about 20 bucks. I don't remember the brand. It's probably some Chinese brand. But you know, I thought maybe I'd put a little bit of color to it. And there wasn't a whole lot of selection out there. So But they look like good quality for whatever they are. They were like I said. They're around 20 bucks. Texture, it's about the same. You know, when I compare them, they look about the same. So, I, uh, I kind of like the green, but I wanted something a little more patterned. So, we're going to set those aside. And what I did was I went to the cutlery shop. CSI and I ordered now I'm gonna get it comes with all this swag I got a keychain some lollipops a pin some decals so that, that's a nice touch too you know that that is a cool thing about this hobby is the personalization that you feel working with these companies you know you don't get that very often out there in the world. So, knife hobby, cool hobby. This is one of the reasons. So, let's set that aside. What I ordered was Sabiros, Sabiros, not sure how to pronounce it, but these are the butterscotch paper, micarta, and the fish pattern. Uh, it comes with screws as well set that aside so look at these look at the pattern on there 
so you know this is just how they came out of the box I'm sure they'll they'll, they'll come alive once we oil them go ahead and we'll see how they look if we don't like them we can put the green ones on swap them around that's kind of the cool thing we can, you can change things up so I have never other than the pocket clip taken apart this knife I have never taken apart a paramilitary two All right, so we had to stop the camera there for a minute because I had a hard time getting the lanyard tube nut. I ended up twisting them back and forth, tried to get it that way, and I eventually just had to take a screwdriver and pry apart. Eventually, I got the one side taken off, and the other side is still in there. Um, I know they make a tool. I've seen it online, um, you know, for pressing that out, but I don't think I need a tool. I think uh, what I did was I just took a, uh, a screw, you know, that's just slightly smaller than that. I put a socket that's deep enough and wide enough to go around the tube. And I'm just going to take a wrench and try to tighten that up and see if it yeah it's already going look at that huh uh, takes a little ingenuity a few minutes to dig through the oh Ben look at that cleaned everything up made everything pretty gotten it ready to start assembly take one of the inner frames put it in the scale and everything fit really nice on these it was perfect um, I will you know to get the lanyard tube back in I just took a pair of uh, channel locks or adjustable pliers whatever you want to call them I stuck a washer on the back side to protect the uh, scale and just gave it a little squeeze it went right in and uh, it turned out flush no problem there I like my pro shot needle oiler zero friction been using it for a long time use it on my triggers on my guns and stuff like that so that's what I use on my knife pivot points yeah. 
So start assembling it, going back the same way it came apart. Just got to pay attention when it come apart. You got to make sure the washers go in. I always like to check the washers and stuff, make sure they don't go in one way or the other. You know, go ahead and uh, oil up the other side of it. That way everything is completely lubed up before you put it together. You know, get the other scale ready, inner frame lined up and then we um, just snap them together if you notice I already have my standoff pins or backspacers whatever you want to call them they're already in there I already screwed the one the first side of the frame put the pivot one, uh, screw in there real quick just for uh, original assembly get the backspacer screws in check it out make sure the functions good and uh, everything's looking pretty good centering's good and it has a nice smooth action no issues so obviously I put it together correctly now I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, pocket clip on, my Lynch Northwest pocket clip. Use the uh, screws that were supplied, and a little different length. And I like using the, um, the Torx Allen wrenches first. Uh, just a little easier to hold on to. And if you look, I got a little bit of uh, blue Loctite paste. I just put a daub on my little cleaning swab and I, uh, I make sure I get a little bit on on each screw as I put it together and here I am I'm just doing the same thing again with the next screw. There's three total screws you gotta put in there once you get the first one in the other two go in gravy it's just a matter of swinging it around it's a lot easier like I said, I, I use the uh, the Allen wrench to get them started, and then I I switch back over to my little uh, thumb ratchet there. Here I am. I'm taking the pivot screw out. I know pretty much where I want the adjustment to be. I don't want these to give me any problems, so putting a little bit of Loctite on them as well, making sure I have it on there evenly all the way around. And, you know, I don't want any on the head because I don't want to stain the, the nice new scales I put on. And then I go ahead and get that tension exactly where I want it. And once that Loctite sets up, it'll kind of hold it there. But it's a blue Loctite, so it's not really much of an issue. So here we are. All done looking perfect looking pretty I will say I just love it love it love the grip love the texture love the way the paper micarta feels compared to the G10 just has a warmer feel to it I love these pocket clips from Casey Lynch Northwest shout out again to them it is the uh, it's the perfect pocket clip. So now both my my paramilitary twos both have the same clip. I do wish that my pair of three lightweight I could replace that, but with that single screw, um, you know, if somebody knows of one, let me know in the comments because uh, I will definitely buy one and replace it on here. But as far as I know, I can't get one to replace that wire clip. Same thing with the Manix. So, I'd like to replace both those, but everything else I'm putting these on that I can get them for. Um, still need to do a mirror edge sharpening treatment on it, but I mean, this thing, this thing to me is just gorgeous. I don't know if it really shows in the picture as well, but this thing is just. Sweet, I mean, just feels good. 
and the lockup's perfect. But what I did was, I mean, you've seen it before, just a black knife, a beater knife, you know, been around the block a few times, and now I've taken that knife, and I've turned it into a knife that I am just really proud to pull out of my pocket and show off, and let anybody look at. I mean, to me, it's just as good as this Carbon Fibers ET. You know, I think it looks better than this Micarta pair of two. You know, I, 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 I really do. I, I really love these, these fish pattern. Now, it's not really a 3D, it's more of a 2D, but there's enough gap between it where they, they made the fish pattern to give it just a nice grip and you know what with this paper micarta when it gets wet I've already tried it out it gets grippier so when it's not wet it's got more of a smooth texture goes in and out of your pocket nice and neat but get it wet you start getting a more grip to it and that's exactly what you want in a pocket knife I mean seriously come on people look at this thing I mean, it just night and day, just a set of damn scales and the um, pocket clip. All these screws are, are the original. You know, did a good cleaning. But, uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Fell in love with this knife again. This is now my everyday carry again. Okay, I just love it. One of the reasons it is, uh, I really I like this Manix, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you on here. When I'm worried about it, I'm starting to get some rust spots on it. And you can see them in there. I mean, I'm getting a patina, which I don't really care about the patina. But I don't know if they're showing. I'll do another video on it. But I was looking at it the other day, and I, I keep my knives. I, I use them daily, and I wipe them down daily. And this one has got some very micro little rust spots forming on it already in this area of the blade. So I think that's got a lot to do with that I can't um, keep it clean because of that sealed back. But we'll get into that in another video. This video was all about this one. And video's coming to an end with gorgeous knife. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Look at that. All right. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.